Hey, Yo. guys. How was the party? It was really fun. Aces. <laughs> he's wearing a woman's sweater, and he's drunk. Well, he didn't drive drunk, and he's home before curfew, so. That's what I thought we got. Right? Yeah, we're good parents. Yeah, we're good. So he's part of this great family, and he has a great group of friends at school, but there's something lonely in him, and it is that he has this secret. He's gay, and he hasn't shared it with the people closest to him. So it's just Simon's journey toward um, discovering what it means to own something so um, central to who you are, to the people who love you the most. It's nice to know there's another guy at school with the same secret. When did you first realize? It was a bunch of little things, like my first girlfriend. I think I'm falling in love with you. Wow, thank you. Be right back. Wasn't my proudest moment. There's just such a clear voice to it, and there's such a happy energy to it, and it, it uses that kind of happy, frothy energy to tackle something that hasn't really been done in, in this way before. I'm done living in a world where I don't get to be who I am. I deserve a great love story, and I want someone to share it with. But to find any way to your wife. Greg and I have known each other forever, and I'm so happy that we're finally getting a chance to work together. Um, he was the perfect choice for this. He's a huge reason that, it, that I was so excited to be a part of the film. Uh, Greg and I sat down a couple of months ago in LA to first talk about the movie and I said, you know, here's some thoughts I have about the script and he went back and wrote these amazing scenes to um, fill in the blanks that I felt like were kind of glaring for Emily and, and for the movie in, in general. And um, instead of saying, oh, you just want more to do or you just want a big juicy scene, he just said, I actually really see the need for that and was so collaborative and so fantastic. And he's one of those directors who seems completely, you can't, you can't mess with his zen. He's a master of zen. And he's, um, he's got it all under control. This is very personal for him, but he's not precious about it. Disclaimer, this is about to get romantic as hell. 